Uh, hey guys, MG Dexter Fun here with a Commander deck tech. Uh, this is one of my new ones that I've learned to love a lot. Uh, it's Mina and Den Wildborn. So they say you can play an additional land in each of your turns, and you can pay a red and a green and return a land you control to its owner's hand, and target creature gains trample until end of turn. And then there's a monarch token, you'll understand why later. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mountains. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourths. Then we have. Uh, come on, focus camera. We have command tower, reflecting pool, firelit thicket, stomping ground, temple of abandon, carplusion forest, rootbound crag, moss warp bridge, spine rock knoll, windswept heath and Mountain Valley. I do have a Cascade Bluffs, just for some reason I was dumb and forgot to put it in. Uh, we have Mystifying Maze to get rid of creatures. We have Throne of the High City to make me the Monarch so I can draw some cards. Blighted Woodland, it's an expert, uh, it's an explosive vegetation on a stick. We have Kessig Wolf Run to buff our creatures. We have Temple of the False God. We have Terrain Generator to ramp. And then we move on to the non-creature spells. We have Nature's Lore, get a forest and put it into play. Uh, Kadama's Reach, obviously. Sky Shred Claim, two forests and put them into play. And then the only mana rock we have in here is Soul Ring. We have Birthing Pod, this is a Birthing Pod deck. It's, this card's stupid good. It's so much fun to play. Perilous Vault, green and red don't have a lot of ways to get rid of creatures. So that'll do that for me. Uh, Swift Foot Boots and Lightning Greaves to give Shroud or Hexproof and Haste. And then we have the two Wraths. Wraths. We have Blasphemous Act, deals 13 damage to each creature, and Chain Reaction. And then we move on to Removal. Uh, this, it's mostly Artifact and Enchantment Removal. Uh, Destructive Reverly destroys an Artifact or Enchantment. Uh, Hull Breach destroys an Artifact and an Enchantment. Or one or the other. Soul of uh, Scour from Existence. Exile or Permanent. Crows and Grip, destroy an artifact or enchantment with split second, so it's really good. Beast Within, destroy a permanent, which is another way to get rid of creatures. Bramble Crush, uh, non-creature permanent. Desert Twister, just a permanent, so a creature or anything like that. Reign of Thorns is probably one of the best cards ever. Um, I can choose to destroy an artifact, an enchantment, or a land, or I can destroy all three. Vandal Blast, destroy all artifacts I don't control. Regrowth, return a card from my graveyard to my hand. Defense of the Heart, um, if an opponent controls three or more creatures, I can sacrifice Defense of the Heart, search my library for up to two creatures, and put them directly into play. And I have ways to get this back over and over again, and it gets really, really good. I harmonize, draw three cards. Shamanic Revelation, draw a card for each creature you control. And then Ferocious, gain four life for each creature you control with power four or greater. Uh, Silvala's Stampede, it's a new one. Um, Starting with you, each player votes wild or free. Reveal top card of your library until you reveal a creature card for each wild vote. Put those creature cards into the battlefield, then shuffle the rest into your library. You may put a permanent card from your hand into the battlefield for each free vote. Praetor's Council, get back all my stuff. And I have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Now we have Planeswalkers. We have Arlen Cord, who flips over. Um, she's basically here to give them Vigilance and Haste. Garrick, I can put creatures directly into play, or I can search for them. Uh, Xenagos is an alternate commander. I don't think he's as good as Mean Den just because he can't ramp. Um, pretty much doubles the creature's power and toughness and gives them haste. Rule Rage Beast, more creature removal. Uh, Burnished Heart for some base gland ramp, which I have 20 base glands in here, so it's pretty good. Uh, Solemn Simulacrum, base gland ramp. Bane of Balaged, exile two permanents whenever it attacks. Ulamog, obviously he's stupid good. Indestructible Annihilator 4, and he exiles, or he destroys something when he comes in. Kozlek, lets me draw four cards when he comes in and annihilate four. Ulam the new Ulamog, exile, exile two permanents, 
and then they exile the top 20 cards of the library whenever he attacks. Uh, we have Malignus. Uh, his power and dumbness are equal to my life total. Uh, the, equal to half the highest life total among your opponents rounded up. Sorry. Damage that would be dealt by Malignus cannot be prevented. Kazool, Tyrant of the Cliffs, in case they're playing a token deck. I'm just going to get a bunch of blockers so I do not die. Um, Hellkite Charger. Uh, there's a dragon that attacks and I get 6 mana. Uh, gives me a lot of attack phases. I don't have it. I'm looking for one. It's an uncommon from Dragon of the Tarkir, I believe. Uh, Hammer Back Goliath gets out of hand when people don't pay attention. Skyline uh, Depot. Uh, he, when he, he enters the battlefield, I'll become the Monarch. And at the beginning of my upkeep, if I'm the Monarch, I get a 5-5 five, five Red Dragon. Dragon Mage. Just disrupt other people's hands. Molten Primordial to steal their hands. And then we move on to green creatures. We have Birds of Paradise. Fauna Shaman, which tap it, discard a creature, search my library for any creature, put it into my hand, and then shuffle my library. Uh, Sacred Tribe Elder, rampant growth on a creature. Farhaven Elf lets me get a base land and put it into play tapped. Reclamation Sage, destroy target artifact or enchantment when it comes into play. Wood Elves lets me search for a forest card and put it into play and then shuffle my library so I can get dual lands with it. Uh, Yavi my Elder, search for two basic lands when he's put into the graveyard and then I can pay two, sacrifice him to draw a card. Uh, Eternal Witness lets me get back my spells. Of course, Recruit Fix is really good with my commander, lets me gain life. Um, Acidic Slime, destroy an artifact, enchantment, or land. Silk Lash Spider deals X damage to target creature with flying. Thrag Tusk, gain 5 life, and when it leaves the battlefield, put a 3-3 green beast into the battlefield. Brutalizer Exarch, um, lets me put a permanent on the bottom of its owner's library, or search for a creature. Bane of Progress lets me destroy all artifacts and enchantments on the battlefield, and I get a plus one plus one counter for each permanent destroyed this way. Regal Behemoth, whenever I'm the Monarch, I get to double my mana. Rampaging Bailoths has landfall, and whenever a land comes into play, I get a 4-4 green beast. Avenger of Zendikar gets really out of hand with my commander, because I can put multiple lands into play every turn. Thrasodon, because he's Thrasodon. Uh, Woodfall Primus comes into play, and I destroy a permanent, and then when he dies, he comes back and destroys something else. Crater of Behemoth buffs everything when he comes in. And World Spine Worm.